thank you for having me today. Um, so we're go I'm going to talk about exploring document expansion for um, the task one of the Touche uh, shared task. Um, we are uh, master students um, at University Leipzig in data science and computer science. And um, our main idea was that we looked on the paper of the last year and we looked on the paper in general that we found in information retrieval and we thought about where in the pipeline of um, information retrieval for arguments can we um, improve the process. And we found that a lot of um, approaches were concerned with query expansion, with ranking, with finding different or better um, um, in um, retrieval models and none of the none of the um, approaches that far focused on document expansion so we decided to take a closer look on it and um, see if we can find methods that improve um, retrieval for arguments by expanding the arguments with more information okay so a short overview um, we have evaluated three approaches that are all um, closely inspired or taken from other um, information retrieval approaches. The first one is a query prediction approach. The third one, an argument hallucination using, using GPT-2. And the fourth one was a synonym replacement approach. In the end, I'm going to shortly talk about the evaluation. Um, yeah, so we're starting with document expansion by query prediction. It is an approach that was published first by Nogueira and Lin in 2020. And it's a um, text to text transfer transformer. So T5 um, trained on an MS Marco for sequence to sequence task. Um, what we have done is we took the arguments and fed it to the doc to query or doc T5 um, query model. Um, to predict the queries from that. We then in the next step concatenated the argument with the queries and indexed the new document. For each of uh, the arguments, we generated 10 queries um, and the argument consisted of the premises and conclusions. So this is an example of how one of the arguments was expanded. Um, in this case, it was about tenure for teachers at universities and or schools. And on the right side, you can see the predicted queries by T5, which were very closely related. So if a user is actually searching for an argument um, for or against tenure in um, teaching context, we could expect those queries to be actual relevant queries by a user. So on the second approach, it was closely inspired by Akiki and Potas from the last year to share uh, task and we took a GPT-2 model to expand the, argu the arguments with further information. And we, is, we also um, um, used the same approach as Akiki and Potast. We um, wrapped the conclusion for each, each of the conclusions into um, a conversational setting. So we fed a question to the model that was, what do you think about? and primed it with a yes or no stance. So the predicted argument was leaning towards one of those directions. Um, yes, we generated both positive and negative um, stances since we were not looking on pro and contra of the arguments, but just on whether they fit or not fit um, the query of the user. Again, we can see an example. So the question we said to the model was, what do you think colleges should abolish the ability for teachers to be tenured? And do you agree? And then we had either a positive or a negative prompt. And finally, the model gave us an argument that was suitable or sometimes less suitable for um, the query, uh, for the, the conclusion. Our third approach is closely related to Bundesmann of last year. Um, they have also done a query expansion method by extracting keywords um, from queries and looking for synonyms in a WordNet corpus. Um, we were, for each of the arguments, we were extracting the top 10 um, keywords using TFIDF. And for the keywords itself, we searched for all the synonyms in the WordNet corpus. We then, again, concatenated all of the synonyms with the argument, indexed it, and retrieved it. Okay, let's again look on an example. So here we can see it's again the tenure situation and the keywords we extracted where colleges, teachers, tenured, suffer. And what we got as synonyms was herd, assess, gradation, digest, measure, retentiveness. Um, and again, we concatenated the 
um, argument with the synonyms and index it. So when looking on the evaluation, I think we're one of the groups that, oh, uh, <laughs> the setup was Python and Elasticsearch. Um, we index the expanded arguments using the Richley language model and as a metric as well, we're having NDCG at five, just as Lucas said before, um, all our runs were submitted to Tyra. Um, and you can actually have uh, the expansion to the ArcSme corpus we predicted. Um, they're in the GitHub repository on the bottom. So if you're interested in further improving it or having your own analysis on it, feel free to use it. So our results, um, we are not, we are, in terms of relevance, we're not, we're not improving the baseline. Um, all of them were pretty close except for doc t5 query. Um, in terms of quality, GPT-2 surprisingly um, outperformed the baseline, although we expected it to be more, um, to be more boosting the relevance of an argument. Um, we found this um, in general, we would conclude that um, the expansion of documents is probably not the best way. I think it's good that we evaluated it and looked on um, the standard approaches that exist right now, but it may be more interesting to extract stuff from the, um, from the text snippets that we got, um, especially in terms of quality. So to search on what, which part of the text is actually relevant and has high quality as an argument and um, have the indexing model on that part, then just, that's probably going to be more promising than expanding the whole documents itself. So yeah, we have um, the sources here for the approaches that we were using. Um, and if you have questions or inspiration, feel free to contact me or ask anything you'd like.